Now I bet that you've seen a lot of these videos with the same title and that you're someone who's wanting to learn how to code and are not sure about the part that they're taking, whether that is optimal or not. Well, that actually brings me to the first point, which is exactly this thing of learning how to learn. And that is super important because I feel that back in my days when I started coding during my high school is that I was all over the place and I did not know how to learn things. So what I did was that I specifically looked out for courses, more and more courses, you to searching the web here and there everything right but I did not take practical steps in order to learn I was just watching tutorials I was just doing like passive learning and that was not helping at all because that wasn't building muscle memory and it wasn't clarifying a lot of concepts rather I was just all over the place and it was not helpful at all so I'm currently working at Google and during my first week I had to learn angular and now what I did to learn angular was that I did not waste my time researching whether to learn it from LinkedIn learning you to me or over there or here right I just dived into a small project I took like a small project and I started to unblock myself eventually through the web by searching the problem that I got stuck on and I think that I learned more through this process or rather than just wasting hours researching where to learn from and that is essentially the big mistake that I made earlier on when I started to learn how to code now another big thing to consider is what language should I actually learn or what technology should I learn and that is an important thing because it depends on where you want to get into. Now, if you want to get into, for example, front-end development, then a language like JavaScript would be optimal for you. But keep in mind that if you want to learn JavaScript, right, learning HTML and CSS would go along with it because that complements the front-end field, right? And then you would also have to learn another framework. For example, you could learn Angular or you could learn React. A lot of people also tend to learn Python earlier on because it is very easy to learn. It has basic human readable syntax tax and it is pretty much understandable by just reading the code of what the code is actually doing. So it's good for beginners. It is also a very good coding interview language and it is proven to be the best, most optimal language for your coding interviews because during a coding interviews, what really happens is, is that you have limited time and during that limited time, you want to solve the problem, but you also want to code it out. Now, if the syntax is simple, for example, like Python's, it is very, very simple to code it out in the given amount of time. It is easier to write down that logic and translate it into code rather than a language like Java or C++ which would take, you know, more syntax and it would be more complicated to write it down. Now, another point to consider is that a lot of people tend to go towards learning a language like Java or C++ because it has a lot of the fundamental computer science and programming language concepts that a language like Python might be missing. This could be also useful if you want to learn the fundamentals of computer science. And in general, it would be very easy to transition from Java into Python rather than to transition from Python into Java. But I'm not saying that it's hard to transition from Python into Java. Java. I'm just saying that it's relatively easier. Now, if you want to learn a language, what you would typically do is that you will buy a Udemy course, you'll go to YouTube and follow along a tutorial, right? But that is not the best way to go about it because it is proven that passive learning is not as effective as you practically doing it, practically coding out the solution and building a small project. So my recommendation over here would be that initially to learn the fundamentals of the language, you can use a platform like W3Schools or Code Academy, which has this integrated code challenges, quizzes, and all the stuff that you require to actively code out and learn the concept. And after you're done doing this and you feel that you have a basic fundamental knowledge of the language, then you can start out by watching YouTube tutorial on small projects of that language and just code it out along. Just don't watch the video passively. Rather, what you want to do is, is that you want to be watching the video and also coding it out as you're going along. And what I would suggest you to do is, is that when you're coding along, just don't blatantly copy it. Rather, try to create your own ideas for the project and try to implement them. Even if you're not able to implement them, you will learn the software engineering process of running into a problem, debugging the problem, how to unblock yourself and basically using Stack Overflow, which is the ultimate savior for software engineers. Now I remember that another big problem that I faced was that I wanted validation of whether I was on the right path or not. And that is the exact reason why we have a tendency to watch videos such as these of why most people fail to learn coding, how I would learn to code, because you hear different opinions. And let me tell you this, everybody will have a different opinion. Someone else who's gonna make the video on this topic will have a different opinion from me. The thing is that when you hear those different opinions, those opinions might go against your path, but that doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. 
path everyone has their own path and in the end it's all leading to the same place you just have your own journey that doesn't mean that you're halfway there and you just end your journey and go into another path and start from zero because you heard someone that oh don't do javascript right let's say that you were doing javascript and now someone is saying that don't do javascript so you don't want to be leaving javascript because someone said it right don't seek validation for your path trust the process because eventually you'll get there coding takes time any skill will take time so trust the process and just dedicate yourself to it and in the end it will all be worth it another mistake that i did initially was that i wanted to impress my friends so when i was in high school i started to learn web development because i wanted to show off i wanted to be that person who was cool who had their own website who had their own portfolio and all of that stuff right and now in this process what typically happens is is that to achieve this temporary high you are actually running into problems right but you're just copy pasting code from stack overflow without understanding it because you're essentially making the thing work but you don't really know how it works but in your mind you think that you know how it works because you just copy pasted it and now you're like yeah i know how to do it right but this is a bad approach and it can come back to you because later on what happened to me was that when i had to do a new project with a real life client right i encountered problems that i had never encountered before and i wasn't able to solve them because i lacked the fundamental understanding for example i had copy pasted css my entire life and now i didn't know what to do how to make the specific change happen i would just recommend you that don't make this mistake rather dive deep into how the things are working and this is actually a good differentiator between a good software engineer and bad software engineer because good software engineers know how things are working underneath they know the architecture they know the context and they know how to make that property work for a certain scenario so that is something which is really important because you don't want to not understand and just you know because it works it works right that is not the mindset that you want to have so make sure that you don't fall into this trap because it is very easy to fall and i myself still to this date fall into it so how do you actually understand things well this is a process that you'll have to learn debugging and understanding concept knowing what to google knowing what to search is something which is super important for a software engineer for a person who is learning how to code and essentially what you want to be doing is that when you're doing the small projects that i mentioned earlier you will run into problems and now you don't want to just copy paste the solution from the tutorial or whatever you're watching or from the internet right you want to get stuck on the problem you want to solve it yourself first but you should also understand why it's working try to play around with it try to see how changing certain properties affect the result of the code and this will allow you to see how things work under the hood and this will also build up your concepts which are very very important because this is where a lot of people tend to give up is that when they realize in the future that oh now they don't understand something which they did in the past which they actually never understood in the first place right so they just give up because now they think that coding isn't meant for them right whereas coding is just like a consistent process of learning unblocking yourself and just being consistent and another big mistake that i made initially was that i really focused on breadth and i wanted to know every language there is i learned how to print in literally every language whether it was c++ javascript and i added it to my resume as if i knew them and this is a very very bad approach you want to choose one specific area you want to choose one specific language and master that first once you master that transitioning into another language is super super easy but you don't want to be switching midway while you're learning because that will create a hurdle in your learning process and it is not generally a good practice and another mistake that i made initially was that learning how to code initially was just remembering the syntax for me i would remember the syntax for c++ for javascript for python and i would flex it on my friends that you know i learned this language i know how to code in this language whereas coding is generally problem solving if you know how to think about problems then you are a good coder if you know how to take a problem break it into smaller problems and how you would solve those smaller problems to solve the bigger picture this is how a typical coder or a software engineer would think right and this is the essential learning part learning how to code or like write out the code right is not the bigger picture you want to learn how to solve problems and that is very very important so to learn how to solve problems it comes to data structures and when you're 
done with building those small projects and now you have a good grip on the language learn data structures you can learn it from the mit playlist from the princeton website and you can also search for good resources by yourself as well because there are a ton of resources out there just make your decision and stick to one and you learn your data structures and then start doing a bunch of lead code problems let's say with those data structures and it will reinforce your learning of how you would solve a problem and that is going to benefit you a lot in the future because coding interviews are all about problem solving they're just five percent writing out the code 95 percent of the thing is just breaking down the problem to your interviewer of how you would solve it another thing that i would have done that i initially did not necessarily do is to surround myself with like-minded people who are learning how to code and also surround myself with people who are really good coders and now this is essential because even at a company like google right if i'm learning something during my first few weeks most of the learning that i did was through my peers because my peers have three four five years more experience than me and if i run into a problem i just discuss it with them and i unblock myself super quickly i know the path that i want to take because my peers are able to guide me into that path and this is a lifesaver because when you have a friend who knows how to code they will be able to unblock you they'll be able to guide you in the right direction and that will be a good resource for you to keep while you're learning how to code. I think in general, I stayed consistent to my learning. Initially, I did not get a hang of coding. A lot of things were difficult to me and it still is to this date. Even though I'm working at Google, right? I don't understand a lot of CSS, a lot of concepts I don't understand. And that is a lifelong learning process, which is the beauty about coding is that you're always learning new things. So the thing is that it's like going to the gym. You have to be consistent. You won't see results quickly. You will eventually get to see that you now you're getting a hang of it which is why you need to stay consistent i've seen a lot of videos where people are like you know telling shortcuts and stuff well there is no shortcut you have to be consistent and it will eventually lead you to your goal and you will become a good software engineer so i hope that you found this video to be insightful and that it can help you with your journey please like this video and subscribe to my channel because it keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys as it is really really hard to you know manage my work at google and then also be making videos so yeah i would really appreciate that and as always see you guys in the next video